all carpetbagger here coming to you live from the great state of Missouri more specifically today we are in Branson Missouri we got in last night and I uh, wanted to just drive down here and check out the strip see what's going on in Branson we like to look for new attractions new things happening in uh, Branson Branson is one of those tourist meccas like Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, Wisconsin Dells, Myrtle Beach, where you see a lot of attractions grouped together. And I spotted this right here behind me. This is Retro Mania. It says on the outside here that they have a movie museum and a haunted house inside. So I figure we would investigate Retro Mania. Please follow me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is new. I've not been to Branson, I think, in about two years. But uh, don't, I'm not sure what this building used to be. If anyone knows what this building used to be, leave a comment in the comment section. But we see some uh, some uh, signs up there. Weird Science, Revenge of the Nerds, like 80s movies, Rambo. Of course, Gremlins up there, one of my favorite uh, movies of all time. So I think this is worth a look. Let's head inside and uh, see what Retromania is all about oh actually looks like we have some uh some of the museum spills out into the parking lot this is a uh, robo a, a a this is robocop here i don't know if this is one of the uh cars from robocop maybe a police car uh robocop does take place in detroit see the uh, detroit seal there on the side of the robocop police car has anyone heard of this movie, The Hearse? I have literally never seen this or never even heard of it. It says the barrier between life and death is no greater than the thickness of a door and now. The door is open. So I'm gonna presume that this is the hearse from a hearse. Again, if anyone has seen Hearse, let me know if it's a good movie. Is this something I need to check out? <laughs> it looks like we got part of a jet from True Lies. Now, I know the Volo Auto Museum has a jet that was used in True Lies. This could have possibly been used for other scenes or other shots. What we got on the side here, it's like a bulldog with wings and boxing gloves. Pretty interesting. Look over here on the side of the building, we got uh, Slimer there eating a giant cheeseburger. They have the New Wave Cafe. It looks like they actually have a restaurant inside of Retro Mania. All right, without further ado, let's uh, head inside. So we've got the main door over here. Okay, this looks like a lot of fun. We're greeted here by the uh, MTV astronaut there. Oh, let's see what else we got here. We got uh, yeah, Darth Vader. Now, they said uh, this arcade here is a free-to-play arcade. It was about $20 to get in, and already this is looking like a lot of fun. How high can you get? Oh, let's see. Billy Mitchell, eat your heart out. Oh, oh. All right, no one can... No one can stop you when you got the hammer. That's the key to victory. Always be hammering. Oh, I lost the hammer. Oh. Yeah, once you lose the hammer, it's all over. Oh, and you can actually see Yoda there perched up on top of the uh, of Donkey Kong. It is extra to uh, play the pinball machines. All the arcade machines are free, but the pinball cost uh, 50 cents. Let's see some Star Wars stuff over here. You got uh, Han frozen in carbonite there. And here's one of those uh, no good stormtroopers. Oh look at that, an autograph picture of uh, Carrie Fisher. Oh yeah, autograph picture of Han. You got Chewie and his friend the Porg there. And then there's one of uh, one of Han's blasters. Actually, have a Indiana Jones escape room, which I guess is an add-on attraction. And there are different various uh, wax figures throughout the attraction here. 
here we have uh, Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones and uh, some different artifacts here as well. This is the urn of Nur of Nurhachi. Oh, there's a, where, where the Indiana Jones voodoo doll. Oh, was that in uh, Temple of Doom where they made a voodoo doll of, uh, of Indiana Jones? The Cross of Coronado and the Holy Grail there. Remember the Holy Grail is a simple cup. It's not ornate because Jesus was a carpenter. So he drank out of a carpenter's cup, not a fancy pants cup. There's an E.T. escape room as well. See the little guy up there in the basket of his bicycle. An E.T. poster with the life mask of Drew Barrymore. I remember Centipede because when I was in uh, middle school, me and my friend would go to, uh, go every weekend to the skating rink, which was actually just in the gym of the middle school, but they had one singular arcade game, and that was Centipede. Oh, watch out for the spider there. You always remember that you have the ball here instead of the joystick to move your little guy. That spider's gonna get me. Be careful. Oh, watch it. Oh, look at that. Turning him into mushrooms. Oh man, I actually got this one. Oh no, 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 no. Wow, I beat the level. I remember in the later 90s when I was a teenager, these were my favorites. Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter. Let's see which edition this is. It's one of the early editions. I always went with, I know all my friends picked Ryu, but I stuck with E Honda. He was always my favorite, the, the sumo wrestling character. Oh, we're, fighting, we're fighting Guile. Fighting Guile. Let's see if we can, see if I can do the 100 hand slap still. All right, get close. Gotta jump in. Oh, that flash kick. Come on, do the 100 hand slap. There we go. I'm gonna hit him with that 100 hand slap. Oh. Guile's a very annoying character. Oh! Oh my gosh. I don't think I was ever that good at this, to be honest. As much as I loved this game. <laughs> oh, there, I got him! Oh man, look at that. I'm gonna take him out with a hundred hand slap. Oh, he got me. With a simple punch to the face. Let's play a round of uh, Mortal Kombat 2. This is probably one of, probably the, the the best Mortal Kombat game was two. Let me see who are we gonna go with. Um, I like I always liked Melina Mortal Kombat two. I thought she was overpowered at the time. Me and my friends actually would uh, would ban her when we were playing against each other because uh, she had the was it the teleport kick was too powerful. Oh my gosh! I don't know if I can even do the teleport kick anymore. What a cheap win. He did nothing but just punch me in the face. Teleport down? Is it torch down? How do I do the teleport kick? Oh my... What the heck? Wow. I did not do well. Yeah, there's just little bits of nostalgia hidden everywhere. Here on top of Galaga, we got Thomas the Tank Engine. Over here on top of Rampage, we have the uh, California Raisins. I was obsessed with the California Raisins. You get them uh, from Hardee's. They come, and I never even ate at Hardee's as a kid, but I forced my parents to take me to Hardee's so I could get these California Raisins because for some reason, they were the most important thing in my entire life. <laughs> but, and this, uh, this was another one, my, another one of my favorite games, Rampage. You played like a monster it just uh, destroys the city. Oh wait a minute! This is this isn't the one I remember. This is this is Rampage World Tour. This, I guess this is a, some sort of sequel. Let me see. We're in Peoria, Peoria, Illinois. Oh my gosh! I don't know if I've ever played this version. What is the? Oh man, I can't remember the. 
the gorilla's name. It's kind of like, okay, so this is almost more like a, I'm gonna say more like a side scroller, but the goal has always been to destroy the buildings, eat the people, smash the buildings there. There's a lot going on here. Okay, threw a person in my mouth there. I remember the original version. This looks like maybe some sort of 90s sequel that I never got a chance to play. There we go. Knocked down the building there. Oh no! My feet are on fire for some reason. Oh, so many people shooting me in the face. I don't even know what to do. So there you go. I ate a guy while he's sitting on the toilet and then the toilet sprayed me in the face. A lot of goofy fun to be had here. I'll keep walking through that fire. Another one of my all-time favorites, the Simpsons arcade game, the side-scrolling beat-em-up here. And I know it feels like I'm saying all the games are my favorite, but maybe they all are my favorite. But look at this, right next to the Simpsons, we have the Simpsons. Got Homer there, it's got like, was that a remote control there? And the whole family. Yeah, so it's really cool. They like integrate the props, the figures there, are just within the arcade, within the other uh, parts of the museum. I never played Zaxxon, so that's not one of my favorites. But then look up top, we got uh, Gremlins. Well, again, one of my favorite movies of all time. He's got the trench coat on, so I guess he is uh, the, uh, the flasher Gremlin that appeared in both movies. And over here is James Bond. Which Bond is that? Is that is that Sean? Is that Sean Connery, or is that uh, different James Bond? Is that Roger Roger Moore there? And uh, here is the Golden Gun from Man with the Golden Gun. Oh, there's the Jaws from the character Jaws. There is an autographed picture of Jaws next to uh, James Bond here. But look at this! I guess that Terminator. Is that Arnie's Terminator there? Uh, riding, okay, riding the motorcycle from Lethal Weapon 3. Never seen any of the Lethal Weapon movies, so I may have missed the part where uh, where the Terminator shows up and rides a motorcycle around. Oh, and there is a uh, another Terminator there. This Arnie's still got some, uh, some skin on his robotic bones there. But uh, yeah, right here, next to the 80s commercial section got the vintage TV there playing some uh there's their fun with fun with McNuggets. I always love the little McNugget puppets that they had. I okay, see the VHS tape and some more of those wonderful California raisins that again I have no idea why I love these things so much but they were I was obsessed. The retro mania Christmas tree here with all the uh these 80s and 90s pop culture Icons, Marge Simpson, E.T., and Ghostbusters there. Oh, we even have uh, Gizmo there from Gremlins, Yoshi, Troll. The Pound Puppy there. I had a Pound Puppy when I was uh, little. Look at the presents down here. Oh, I remember that, uh, that Ghostbusters gun. And uh-oh, look who's bursting out of one of the packages. <laughs> one of the Gremlins. You know, people argue about Die Hard being a Christmas movie or not, but I argue that Gremlins, Gremlins is 100% a Christmas movie. Oh, almost didn't even notice that. It's a Gremlins arm reaching out of the trees. Looks like Gremlins are everywhere. Here's the book and pendant from Never Ending Story 2. Now this here, it says, Army of the Dead, Necronomicon, Dark Magic Book. Don't they mean Army of Darkness? Army of Darkness? Is it Army of the Dead? Isn't that a, a zombie movie with Batista? Now this is a movie I've been meaning to see a while. It's been on my, uh, my list to check out for years is Rambo. I've never seen any of the Rambo movies. Here we have Mr. Uh, Mr. Rambo himself. Sylvester Stallone. Also, I find this name confusing. Rambo First Blood Part 2. Shouldn't it just be called Rambo Second Blood? Over in this corner, we have uh, Tom Cruise from Top Gun. Now, he's uh, 
shorter in person than I thought he'd be. Over here in the corner, we have Ted. Makes me wonder where uh, where where Bill is. Where is uh, where is Bill? Ted Ted just seems so lonely without Bill. We got the Predator Trophy necklace, one of the most insanely popular toys from the 80s, the Cabbage Patch doll. As we prepare to head upstairs here. Yeah, more items as we walk up the stairs. The identity disc from Tron. Of course, Weird Science. I remember they actually had a TV show based on Weird Science. I never actually saw the original movie, but I saw the TV show. And then we have Prince's guitar up here. Up in the rafters. Just all these little toys. See the Three Stooges there along with Pee Wee Herman. Some uh, My Little Pony there. Oh, I don't know if you can see over there, but there is a what almost looks like a Mr. T Cabbage Patch doll. They got a VR experience up here on the second floor. And uh, look at that, look just hanging above our heads there is Clark Griswold, all wrapped up in, uh, in Christmas lights there from uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Now I like uh, National Lampoon's Vacation, the first one, uh, the best, that's my favorite, but I also love the, the Christmas movie as well. I think they're both, both amazing classics. Here we got Slimer, looks like he's gorging himself there on pizza and uh, hot dogs. But uh, he better be careful, he's about to get uh, get caught here by uh, Bill Murray, Peter Venkman from the uh, Ghostbusters films. Back here in the corner we have uh, Beetlejuice. There is his uh, guide to the uh, recently deceased there. Yeah. And back here, so we can actually go outside. Oh, it's bright out here, but yeah, I have a little patio area up here. You can play some giant chess or some giant Connect Four. And we got some uh, some figures up here. Superman there, and then Jessica Rabbit. You see the Ferris wheel there. That Ferris wheel used to be, used to be on uh, Navy Pier out in Chicago. But they got a newer, bigger, newer, bigger uh, Ferris wheel to put out there. And uh, so they moved uh, the Chicago Ferris wheel over here to Branson, where it can still uh, entertain people. Spider-Man climbing along the wall there. Spider-Man has very large hands. Look at that. That's like Spider, Spider Hulk there. And who's, who's slurking around over here? Oh, we got the alien from Aliens overlooking the uh, Branson Strip here. And uh, there you go, James Bond, the uh, Branson Water Tower in the background. Yeah, from up here we can see the Titanic Museum that's shaped like the Titanic. And if you look a little bit further down there, See the Hollywood Wax Museum. You can see the rear end of King Kong Clyde there on top of the Wax Museum. We actually have a screen here playing 80s movies. Looks like looks like Ernest uh, Ernest Saves Christmas is playing currently. Yeah, there's just uh, 80s characters lurking around every corner. There we got uh, Doc Brown here from Back to the Future. He's here outside of the uh, Escape to the Future escape room. Yeah, they have some of the life masks as well. That's, uh, I think that's Michael J. Fox. There we've got Doc's glasses there. We have Alien Encounter escape room here with uh, Ripley from the Alien movies. I, I enjoyed, I, I've actually seen these movies, or I've seen 
I think I've seen the first two. I've seen Alien and Aliens. They're both really fun. Like the first one was more like a horror movie, fun in its own way. Aliens is like a uh, more of like an action movie, but a good action movie. I don't always love action movies, but I thought uh, thought that was a uh, was a good one. And look at this. We've got a haunted house here. See the skeleton dogs there on the ledge. There's the, uh, what is that, the tall man from Phantasm. I, I tried watching the movie Phantasm. It was, it was difficult to understand what was going on. It's a very, very strange movie. But he does have this, this the tall man, he has this cool ball here that he throws, it's his weapon, and like drills and things come out of it and, uh, and murder people. He is pretty creepy. All right, so I guess we're headed into the haunted house here. Oh my gosh. Look at that goose there. There's the tar, the tar zombie. This is a lot of fun. There's a caribou up there. Oh wow, well, look at back going on back here. There's this zombie twitching at me. A little girl here on the couch. Some serious spookiness in here. I don't know how many jump scares are lurking around the corners, but we will progress here. Oh, it's getting darker back here. Oh, jeez. Ah! Okay. That was definitely, definitely got a jump scare there. Okay. All right, see if there's any more jump scares here. Oh my gosh. I wasn't expecting like this like detailed, intense haunted house in here. Freddy Krueger over there. Worried about this guy jumping up at me. Yeah, got my eye on you, Freddy. Something gonna pop at me? That Sam from Halloween. That's creepy. Oh gosh! Oh my gosh! There was a massive, massive blast of compressed air. I almost knocked me on my feet. Oh my gosh! Oh, head in here. There's like a a bull's head. It's with that leather face there. There's oh, there's bags. Oh my gosh, look at that deer. This guy thrashing here. Oh man, I can't believe this haunted house in here. This was surprisingly intense. Oh my gosh. Look at that deer. I can't trust anyone. Oh my gosh. Was not expecting that big blast. Hello? Oh! There's a zombie coming out of the crack there. Oh, I can't believe how good this is. Oh, what's in here? What even sort of place is this? There's clowns, there's like a conveyor belt of some sort here. So that's that a two-headed clown right there. I see Chucky. I see Chucky back here on this shelf of dolls. Hey Chucky, don't jump scare me, bro. Skeleton lurking back here in the bushes. Oh, look at these creepy dolls right here. It's Jason. Look at Jason's got an autograph mask in the haunted house. That's pretty fun. Oh yeah, those are so creepy. Got my eye on you guys. Don't jump scare me. All right. We have safely made it out. The exit to the haunted house there. We see we got Freddy's glove and hat there on the clock. And some uh, horror items here. That's the Pazuzu head from Exorcist Pazuzu, the evil demon that possesses Ragan. We got a critter from Critters. 
me and Jen this Halloween went on like a binge of watching like uh, like horror movies with little creatures. Watched uh, the ghoulies, the critters. I got into the whole little tiny monster thing. Got this punk rock zombie here. I guess he's from uh, the Return of the Living Dead there. Man, I'm still that 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 haunted house. I was not expecting it to be as good as it was. It's 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 pretty short walkthrough, but uh, like a lot of fun in there. Oh my goodness, a lot of fun. Here we got uh, Spock from Star Trek. Oh, there's one of Spock's ears. There, in that case. Now these are like uh, like little consoles set up. A little. Itty bitty mini, mini uh, Super Nintendo there, and uh, a little mini NES. I thought about getting one of the one of the little ones because I'd, I'd love to go back and play some of those uh, classic games from my childhood. And we have Jack Nicholson's Joker here from uh, the Michael Keaton Batman movies. He's my favorite. Uh, favorite of all the Jokers, the Jack Nicholson Joker. He's just so, uh, I don't know, just, you don't know how to freaking uh, take him. He's just so freaking sinister and out there. And over here by the uh, restrooms, a very appropriate character, one of the ghoulies from Ghoulies. You can see that is like the, uh, that's a cat ghoulie. Normally it's the fish ghoulie that is popping out of the toilet, but uh, I'll let it slide just because I love uh, the ghoulie so much. Careful if you want to drink, because we got uh, Chucky lurking on top of the drink machine. This helmet here from uh, Battlestar Galactica. I've never seen any form of uh, Battlestar Galactica. And here we have a mini golf course called Retro Rocker. This is a rock and roll themed mini golf course. You can see like the uh, orange rocks there. But there is the King of Pop, Mr. Michael Jackson, with his, uh, his single glove there. Also have Kiss playing on the screen. And then Gene Simmons, giant tongue there. As we weave our way through the uh, mini golf course, we have all these uh, boxes of musical equipment to weave our way through. Oh, look at that. There's uh, Slash, Slash from Guns N' Roses. Oh, who do we have up here? I think this is uh, this is two thirds of uh, ZZ Top. There, you can tell by their long uh, their long beards. There's another. The third member of ZZ Top doesn't have a beard, and he doesn't appear to be uh, doesn't appear to be in the in in Retromania. And I think that the ironic, the most ironic thing, is. The only member of ZZ Top who does not have a beard, his uh, his last name is Beard. Here in the gift shop, we have a uh, mural of Stripe and Gizmo. That it's a gremlin skull prop oh my gosh does anyone else does anyone else remember uh koosh balls say it's a transformer koosh ball some star wars koosh balls there i just remember i had the, like, the standard koosh ball it didn't necessarily have a head sticking out of it looking at these t-shirts here see this choose life t-shirt i think the wham Wham wore these, and I don't think it has anything to do uh, with uh, the abortion debate. Correct me if I'm wrong. Apparently there was a movie 
in the 80s where someone said, talk to me, Goose. Some horror socks here. Kruger socks. Who's this? Oh, more, this is just a different type of Kruger sock. And we have Reagan and a, a, a lots of different Kruger socks. Another gremlin here in, uh, in the gift shop. And they do have a restaurant connected, the New Wave Cafe here. Yeah, look at all the, all the vintage TVs here in the center. It's pretty cool. They have a totally tubular menu here. See, every food item is themed after a movie. It's the Nightmare Nachos. The, uh, it says the uh, Cheech and Chong is a uh, far out appetizer consisting of fresh cooked tortilla chips and our special salsa. <laughs> oh my goodness. You have the salad of the Europe, European vacation salad there. You have the ACDC back in black, blackened chicken. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely a lot of fun. Over here on the stage, we have the, uh, the chipmunks. <laughs> the uh, Alvin and the chipmunks there performing for the good people at the New Wave Cafe. So I had an amazing time here at Retro Mania. I really, I really thought this was a great attraction. I loved all the different aspects to it. You got, and then I said $20, it included the arcade, the museum, the uh, mini golf, and the haunted house. So I'd say that's uh, that's pretty good. I was really surprised how good the haunted house was. It was very short. It was only like maybe three or four rooms, but they packed a lot in there. They had some good scares. They made the most of the small space they had. Of course, love the uh, the wax figures dispersed throughout the museum. Love the 80s and 90s theme. Just a lot of fun. I got a free arcade. Lots of stuff to do here. I definitely think this is a great addition to the Branson landscape. Definitely recommend checking this out if you are in the city of Branson. But uh, thank you so much for coming along with me today. If uh, you do like these videos, please subscribe. I travel around the country. I film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, other fun stuff. If you'd like to uh, help contribute to the channel, consider contributing to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop. Of course, all those things help keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.